just won now. We've been impeached. The person I see ruling America is a woman. So, after I posted this video about Pastor Suleiman, that he claimed that he saw a woman being the president, as you can see, I posted one hour ago, almost two hours ago. Now, in page, they don't post damage control. Prof, why is it not a good morning well, for the world? Americans decided. They I'm are choosing their president. They have voted. I'm they I'm turned I'm out I'm in large numbers. I'm why is it not I'm good? During the crossover, I spoke to her about the American election. I think last month again, I spoke to her still about the American election. Today, I'm going to move a little bit forward. I told you at this moment, 26th of September, if you're going to vote today, it's definitely Kamala. The next president of the United States is going to be a woman. And uh, President Biden is going to die. And a uh, woman is going to rule. Then Trump. Trump is never going to win the election. Uh, those who were around when he was president some four years ago, I'm sure that uh, they're going through their own nightmare. That's here we are again with uh, another four years of Trump. Neither of the two candidates had anything to say about Africa. We, were, we, we simply did not exist in their agenda. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Plan B TV News, Gist, and Blog. Donald Trump just won an election, becoming the 45th president of the United States of America. While they are celebrating in the United States, Nigerians and the Nigeria elite are having a backlash about Donald Trump becoming the president. First on our list, we're going to talk about the prophecy, the prophecy of some pastors about Donald Trump losing this election. Well, I want you guys to watch what VDN posted about Apostle Joseph Suleiman regarding to Donald Trump winning or losing an election. We'll be right back. That just won now. We've been impeached. The person I see ruling America is a woman. The person that is vice will become president. Right? You, know, you know the luck. You know the luck when you get uh, most of these pastors from Nigeria. Now, because see, it is not a crime if your prediction no happen. Or if your prophecy no happen. Now, because it is not a crime. If to say a crime, by now, especially this Suleiman of Iban, you don't suppose spend give or take 30 years for Sanko. Give or take 30 years for Sanko. Now, only you, only you every time. Why always you? Are you Balotelli? Are you Balotelli? But well, what is my business? The one where they always glad in my heart. Now, the facts say every day by day, internet is beginning to reveal the so called men of God in Nigeria. Not only Suleiman, there are a lot of them. Internet is beginning to reveal a lot of them. The other day, I see David, uh, this one for Portacourt, they refer to uh, uh, this man, Abel Damina, as rats for stage. You know, shame, you know, hide them. Talk them. Talk them. Every day, at least, even though we cannot achieve this uh, 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 religious and uh, all this way where religion don't chop us, the next generation we see and we know better. That is why when they make all these videos, they keep them online. So that the future generation can understand that all these things, all these men, they do. Now then, they just go one corner, just orchestrate plenty, just have to they talk. There's no miracle happening anywhere. I got to do miracles. That pastor prayed for me. I was healed. I lie. Miracle day, but I got the run arm. But you see all these ones? Pastor, God speak to Pastor, no agree. Pastor say you get power. God speak to you, no agree. Anyways, I got to continue the airports. So now, God don't shock on us. All of now go with popular. You know, as everybody, they shout Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, all of them to say go play. <laughs> Just barely 24 hours after VDM released this particular video, another video surfaced on social media to counter his statement like the Omega Fire Ministry media released a prophecy videos of their daddy Gio, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, saying that Donald Trump will win. Okay, VDM also came out to say, ah, Shebi, you say he will lose. How come another video is saying that he will win? Well, so I explain all of this, I want you guys to watch the response of VDM to Omega Fire Ministry, Apostle Johnson Suleiman prophecy. 
So, after I posted this video about Pastor Suleiman, that he claimed that he saw a woman being the president, as you can see, I posted one hour ago, almost two hours ago. Now, in page, they don't post damage control. For me, it's damage control. Now, let's see it. Perfect person, don't get me wrong, okay? Everybody have their challenges. But who is? Shot him. And I just told somebody, I said, America has just seen the winner of the election. Because by this action, that man has won. People that were on the fence have already endorsed him now. When you hate people so much, you push them into acceptance. Stop wasting your emotion. Never dislike who you don't know one or At this point, eh, this thing will be prophecy again, a prediction. Prophecies don't change. Predictions change. Prophecy, they say, I prophesy. He did there. Go check on the prophecy for Bible. Only you say you see a woman based on prophecy being the president. That was when people they bash Donald Trump. When Donald Trump first earliest talk, say okay, he won't come out. People they bash them. Do you understand? Now it's just like let me give you a scenario, right? For the past three games, Man City don't lose. We know Man City has champions, they don't lose. If before now, if before now you ask about Man City, somebody will say, Man City go win three straight. But as Man City don't they lose now, if you ask person say, the next three game how far, the person will tell you, say, oh, I'm all cut, I'm not sure. You don't understand? So that time it was sure for them that Donald Trump was not going to win. But the time passed, they went that shooting can't happen. People can't start with the support Donald Trump more and more. Baba quickly come. Turn on again. It was no longer. It don't come up for privacy. It don't go prediction now. Uh, Baba me. Eh? It don't go prediction. All this damage control and this thing. Now, now predict. Now, re predict. Give us a clear prophecy. You don't put man for politics before you don't go according to your plan. If you remember VBB. Eh? Uh -huh. You don't talk about for your church. Not only your church, as you say, when I use prophecy, when I use the spirituality, take the transfer money for people accounts. Now you know transfer for everybody for Nigeria accounts. Now you know go hospital, go transfer for everybody where the hospital account. You know, get all this whole power of spirituality. Now you know go hospital, go heal all those people, make people know they buy of cancer. Mm -hmm. This religion in Africa is a joke, especially in Nigeria. It's a joke. People play too much in this country. Now, does they use people head up and down? I want to see the greatest man of God in this country. Go to the hospitals. Go to the hospitals. Deliver us from, from, from the hardship of the country. Do it. Try. Do it. Do it. Don't be all these things. They put mouths for popular things and this one and all that. Only you against this. Say you are peace. Eh? See, coronavirus happened because at that time you buy private jets. Uh, even though you're my brother, you lose guard where you have a rest. If you no rest, you go and learn, you go and learn the agree. Focus on the one where they do you where you have a Sleep the worry, man. I never rest. I never go rest. The most interesting part in all of this is not even what Apostle Joseph Suleiman is saying or said or prophecy or that of VDM. Me personally, I'm interested in what Nigeria elites are saying like Nigeria former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Bolaji, what he said in this particular video when he was uh, on Arise TV News, according to him, Donald Trump is not the rightful president of uh, USA. How will he become? He's not the rightful man. He shouldn't have won. I don't even think he befits that position. Thank God he was on Arise TV News, and I like the questions that Ruben Abati asked him. America have decided. Which one be your own? <laughs> anyway, I want you guys to watch the video. We'll be right back. Forgive me if I don't say good morning to you. Uh, it hasn't been a good night. Ah, uh, bro. <laughs> and definitely it's not a good morning for the world. It's okay, not. why is it not a good uh, morning for the what world, has bro? What happened? Prof, why is it not a good morning well, for the world? Americans decided. They are choosing their president. They have voted. A, they turned I'm, out in large numbers. A, why is it not good? A, Dr. Abati, <coughs> what has just happened in the United States is a victory of crudity over refinement, a victory for all that United States should now stand for is a victory for 
what the world is not expecting from a country that says it is a bright light on a shining hill. I first went to the United States in 1962, and that America is not the America that voted for Trump yesterday. So it's just not, you must stand for rationality. You must stand for, um, how can you vote for somebody who's been convicted of 34 crimes? How can you vote for somebody who almost overturned an election by what message are you sending to the rest of the world? Tell me. For us in Nigeria, in the global south, who are supposed to be fighting for democracy, for decency, for honesty, what message have you sent this morning? So, why should I say good morning? Now, this, this elite, this elite, this old man, this old man, I don't really know how to place it. The older they become, once they are, they are, they are into politics, the easier they lost memory. And the way they talk, you can no longer believe in that hardy that say what an elderly man see when sitting. Even when you climb an Iroko tree, you will not see it. This make is not even seen anything. They just thought that the way they can bestow election or stole my data and give to somebody, that is how it's supposed to be in the US. American people decided. And all you are thinking now is that, oh, it is not beneficiary to Nigeria. Oh, Donald Trump will not hate Nigeria. Anyway, it is not just him. It may not be like, say, maybe I'm just against this elite. I want you guys to also watch another Baba. What he's saying about Donald Trump becoming the president of America. We'll be right back. Neither of the two candidates had anything to say about Africa. We, were, we, we simply did not exist in their agenda. Uh, and the only time Africa was mentioned was in a derisive way by Trump. When he talks about uh, lunatics and uh, uh, criminals uh, being sent from different countries, including the Congo. Congo was about the only African country that was uh, on its lips, and that was in a negative, pejorative way. So I do not see that Africa has any importance in Trump's calculation, but it will have somehow. It will feature at the lower level of priority. Uh, uh, it's true from Obama to uh, uh, the first term of uh, Trump to Biden. We have had relationships that just, they are passive, they are, uh, they are tepid, not very exciting. There are, there are no major issues, there are no down, uh, downturns. So we will continue to maintain a, a relationship on an even keel in which there will be cordiality, there will be trade, there will be cultural exchanges, all those normal diplomatic niceties will continue to exist. The only problem we've had in our own case in, Africa, in, in Nigeria was Donnie Obama. Now, my own is that. Why are they so much concerned about the interest of America in the Africa? It's just what bothers me. Oh, they did not have Africa at heart. When Nigeria is electing their president, will the Americans say or think Nigeria president does not have us at heart? We don't think it's befitting or becoming the rightful president of Nigeria because they did not have us at heart. I thought these people said they are independent. If you are an independent person, why are you so dependent on the interest of America on the soil of Nigeria? You don't get to know at heart. The reason is because Young people want somebody you can run to to go and borrow money. Your body can easily give you anything you want, like borrow you and put you in debt. Remember when Donald Trump was the president? How Buhari went to the USA to say, oh, we want ammo tank, helicopter, we want fire jets, we want all the weapons to tackle uh, the surgency in my country. Donald Trump tell him that your country is a deep shit hole because all you need is to fix your country is not to carry weapons and be buying people in your country. Often time when they go to the US to look for a loan, the Joe Biden will always, always, always reject. Joe Biden is the only one that were rejecting their visas. That's why the, all of them is angry right now. He's becoming president. 
it will become tough on them. Do you know that in center of all of this conversation, some Nigerians are celebrating like this video. I want you guys to watch it. Nigerians are celebrating that Donald Trump won. Me personally, I also celebrate on my home because this anarchy, this war, bad blood that is going on in the world. I know Donald Trump, on my own personal, except he have changed, will put an end to it. Because most of these things is just making, like that of Russia and Ukraine, they are just making their interest out of it. They don't want this war to end. They are hating this war, sponsoring this war. They don't want it to end. Now that Donald Trump is the president, I believe personally that all this will end. Why? Because he's not that kind of man that is afraid to talk. You can't push him here and there. He's going to tell you American money will not be spent to aid or help another person fighting their war. It is their war. If they want to fight, let them fight. If they are tired, it's for them. Because in his first speech, he said that he will call the Russia president and Ukraine president to table to dialogue and end this war. That is what he said the very first day they declare him as the winner of the president. Why some country immediately they declared them, the only thing you could say is that I remove Swiss subsidy and the whole country collapsed. Some Nigerians and other Africans, mostly Nigerians, are saying Donald Trump said in his speech that he would deport all um, immigrants, all illegal immigrants, all Nigerian immigrants. Donald Trump did not say so. I listened to the manifesto, I listened to the speech, I listened to his acceptance speech. According to him, he said he would deport all illegal immigrants. All illegal immigrants that are not documented in the U.S. soil. Nigerians that are in U.S. soil are not illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants are those that jump fence or come through the back door. All Nigerian migrants in the U.S. came through flight. None of them were given fake visa or came through back door. Mostly what he's trying to say is those Colombia and that of the neighboring country who jumped the high fence. That is what he's saying. You don't have visa to come to my country. How did you end up in my country? But Nigerians are saying, oh, he said he wanted the butters. I beg, tell your president to feast their country. If your country is feast, I don't even think that you'll be bothered about what the United States uh, president or other country presidents are saying about migrants. Anyway, to round it up, I want you guys to watch how the presidents, the campaign team, how they give glory to God about our candidates winning this election on our all like on our own that when your candidates win on one election that you're in the streets you know causing chaos telling us like if you go to the state right now people are carrying cocktails going to the street to collect us now we win now you know no, we're not gonna pay Agbaru is back on the streets anyway this is what i'm going to be ending the video we love you guys. God love you more. If the only way you can show your love to us is to like this video, comment your thoughts about this video. What do you think about the prophecy of Apostle John Sulema? What do you think about what VTM said? What do you also think about all these elites, <laughs> all our elites, the former Nigeria uh, ministers of foreign affairs? Uh, what do you think about what he said and the other Baba, all those old men who talks like a child? So what do you think about their own comment on Donald Trump? Why are they so afraid that oh, Donald Trump becoming the president? I don't think it, we, he have Nigeria to attack. Where did concern another person, president concern your country? I don't understand. Only Nigeria had a fear. Ghana president is is not having Nigeria attack. He's deporting Nigeria. Oh, uh, you uh, what's it called? South Africa president. Oh, United Arab Emirates president. Do, all Nigerians are always concerned about another person, president. But other countries are never concerned about the decision or what your president are doing in their country. Nigeria not the deport. They don't even know they are citizen. Anyway, I rest my case here. And until we meet again, I'll be waiting for you guys in the comment section to tell me your thoughts about all of these elites and the apostles and prophets who prophesy and how Nigerians are reacting to it. I love you guys. Until we meet again, peace out.
Uh, I think um, a lot of world leaders are waking up this morning and re-strategizing on how they will deal with the next four years of uh, Donald Trump. Uh, those who were around when he was president some four years ago uh, and had a, a feel of daily working with him, I, I'm sure that uh, <laughs> They are going through their own nightmare that here we are again with uh, another four years of Trump. But look, they are going to try and find a way to work with him. That's inevitable. Um, he's a president of the United States of America, and America has a global influence and reach, uh, which makes it inevitable that everybody must find a way that uh, will ensure that they're able to work with the president of the United States. Uh, you know, it's uh, shortcomings and other things. I think everybody will overlook it. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that um, it's going to be just like the last, uh, when he was in office, it's going to be a very stormy um, four years. Uh, I can imagine what the president of Ukraine is going through, you know, right now. Um, I'm sure South Korea is probably happy. Uh, Netanyahu is probably the happiest of everybody else. Uh, you know, um, with time, he will just decide that he will probably do what else he wants to do or the conditions uh, that uh, for peace in the Middle East would be based on whatever he agrees with uh, the new president of the United States. So um, we just wait and see. We might be wrong, but uh, certainly it's going to be a very stormy four years globally. Uh, but for Nigeria, look, I've always maintained for many years that um, uh, we have a very cordial, I mean, we have cordial relationship with the United States, but we are not a strategic partner. We like to use that word, but we are not a strategic partner to the United States. When it suits the United States, they consult us on the issues they want to consult you know, uh, us with. But the, globally, you know, Africa itself is at the periphery of global politics. And that's going, nothing will change much under Donald Trump. Remember when he was president, he only sent a team to Africa. And in fact, he sacked the Secretary of State. Remember, when he, while he was visiting uh, Nigeria, who does that? You say. Uh, yes, he sacked him here. You know, the guy was in Abuja when he was relieved of his... Uh, you know. mobile. Yes, so um, we should expect that, uh, again, we are going to go through a period in which, for Donald Trump, Africa and Nigeria will probably not be a priority, but will not be on his priority list. I guess many of you believe this lady is a prophetess, the master's voice, uh, prophetess Celestia. Now, watch this prophecy. She prophesied back in 2020 about this present election. Watch this. Oh yes, Kamala Harris will be president of this country. But what is not known is that she will be a very harsh one. Kamala Harris will be a very um, controlling and authoritarian president. She will be a very ham-fisted leader. I guess many of you are going to argue that she wasn't talking about this present election. Okay, just wait. Watch this other video also. God said that Mr. Biden would not take his term to the full. He would not complete his term in the seat. He would abdicate his space. The word the Lord used is retire. And then he spoke to me right in the middle of my thoughts. And he said, this is Kamala's election, Celestial. And he, would, he said to me that day on the 4th, she will be the next president of the United States. This woman will enter into the seat and she will be sworn in. I got an answer. He said that Biden will be retired. Joe Biden will exit stage left and Kamala Harris will take the White House with the Obamas by her side. Now this is the second time that I'm saying that, that she would take the office. You just heard in that video, right? She said that Kamala Harris will take over from Joe Biden. Joe Biden will retire. And then Kamala Harris will become the president of the United States, my Lord. As you can see, she said, thou said the Lord. The Lord told her. Mm? Now let me tell you. Most of you, you believe this lady is indeed a prophetess of God. The reason why you fall for her prophecies because you don't have the Holy Ghost in you. You don't have the spirit of discernment in you.
Mm -hmm. Without the spirit of discernment, which is the Holy Ghost, trust me, it's going to be so easy for you to fall for this lady prophecies because she's very crafty. Let me tell you something. This lady, she researched the internet. I'm telling you. God is not speaking to her. She researched the internet to get information. After that, she comes and says, Thou said the Lord and lied on God. Clearly, as you can see, God never ever spoke to her about the election, right? What happened if a prophet or a prophetess prophesy and says, Thou said the Lord, and that prophecy don't come to pass? Don't that make that person a false prophet or a false prophetess? As you can clearly see, she's a false prophetess. Uh-huh. Prophetess of Baal. She's not of God. Because this prophecy clearly didn't come to pass. As you can see, Donald Trump won the election. Yeah, Kamala Harris didn't win. She's not the president of the United States. She, she remained the vice president to Joe Biden. She said Kamala will take over from Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Well, drop your comment down below and let me know what you think. Majority of you are going to stay justified this lady fail, uh, fail prophecy. Because, like I said, this lady have a, a court following. She's very crafty, my lord very eloquent in speech she that's why she captured most of you heart uh-huh most of you you are easily deceived honestly speaking mm -hmm. but like i said drop your comment down below and let me know what you think is she a false prophetess because she said thou said the lord and whatever god says have to come to pass and she came and prophesied and said the lord told her and this prophecy didn't come to pass it's a failed prophecy what do you think about this? Drop your comment down below and share the video. God bless. <laughs> it is we're going to be here today. It will be Kamala Harris. Mm. The Lord appeared to me and said, I'm planning an evil thing mm. against America. Mm. Notice I did not say the devil is planning. I said the Lord said, I'm planning an evil thing against America. So change from my rules. Wow. Mm. The first time I told you, no matter what you do, Trump will be president. The second time I told you it depends with the church. Yes, this time I've already told you the winner. If the elections were gonna be held today, it would be Kamala Harris. I saw them declaring Donald Trump as the president of America. And in the space of three months, I saw him bringing America to a standstill. But he would not rule America with a good health. During the crossover, I spoke to her about the American election. I think last month again, I spoke to her still about the American election. Today, I'm going to move a little bit forward. Like I said to you last month, I said, there's a shift, but I cannot say. I've not gotten complete clarity. So I asked the Lord. So the Lord showed me this vision. I saw two wide lions. One looks like a female lion and the male lion looks very rugged, hungry, angry. The only difference is that the female lion had food in her mouth and there is a flag of America on the female lion. I don't know what it means. Don't try to tell me the interpretation even me i'm praying for the interpretation this year american election is going to be very dramatic now what they have four years ago the drama and the intrigues it's going to be mysterious there should be no overconfidence on any side i am worried i'm seeing the day of election i'm seeing the updates coming in i want to say just one thing and i'll keep quiet there is a mystery between the electoral college and the overrun numbers so i'm seeing one candidate having the whole vote and the numbers are increasing i'm looking at the electoral college I'm seeing a lot of twist that I cannot explain. So if I'm any of the candidates, I will not be praying alone to have the highest vote. I'll be praying that apart from having the highest vote, the electoral college should favor me. It's a food for thought so that history should not repeat itself. I leave it there. If I have more clarity, I don't know who is for, 
or who is against, I will come back again and tell you again. If I have the overall vote and my numbers is high, this college team that is very <laughs> interesting, this electoral college, ah, you should also back my number. I did not say more than this. I'm worried. So, if I am any of the candidates as I'm working for the overall number, I should also be working for the electoral college that determines so many twists.